la posso copata le bahata di la jebele menegele mahara la baha satadia la baha shede kata hata tana kapali hide hela le mon setadia la bahata la baha tadia la baha shada la baha tadia la baha le manda la kapadia la baha yes lo 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 Oh, Baba la Baha ta la Baha. Nese de Baha. All right, you can have your seat now. So, in the name of Jesus, I want to experience the power of God in my life, in whatever I do. I want to see the power of God in my financial life, in my marital life, I want to see the power of God move in every area of me in the name of Jesus. So no matter what you do, don't allow the devil tell you something that will make you lose the power of God. So that's why he said, and Jesus said, in verse Matthew 22, verse 29, he said, and Jesus answered and said unto them, ye do a and knowing not the scriptures, why no the power of God. Why? Because if you don't know the scripture, you will not why, experience the power of God. So once you know what the scripture says, and then you'll be able to walk within the circumference what the scripture says, that's where the power of God will manifest. So according to the Bible, when you are saved, when you are born again, it doesn't matter your nationality. You are my wife, brother. And you are my sister. So the moment you have this understanding, you know what happened? The glory of God will come into your life. May that glory visit you today. May that glory touch your life today. May you experience the glory of the Lord in everything you do. Can I ask you a question? Have you seen churches whereby they are predominantly black? Have you seen churches whereby they are predominantly other tribe, other nationality, other Nigeria or South Africa or Ghana. Have you seen that? Why it's like that is because why people are more comfortable with their tribal people or their national people than being the family of God. So if you see a white man that is born again, who is it to you? It's your brother. If you see a white man, a white lady that's born again, who is it to you? It's your sister. So that means, the moment I relate to you based on the family of God, do you know God power will be more in me? God blessing will be more in me. Why? Because why? I am doing what we call why? the will of God. God can only bless what is called why? his will. Do you understand now? So that means, what does it mean? Most of you are watch here. After service, do you know who you go to? You look for people in your country to greet them. Or people from where you live. Because why? The other people, you don't see them as your family. That's what the devil want to do. But we reject that in Jesus' name. I said we reject that in Jesus' name. So who are we? Who are we? Who are we? We are our family. He said the people do air. Because they don't know the will of God. So what is the will of God? For God to bless you, man. We must work well as a family. That is what the Bible say. Uh, the Bible say you should show love to everybody, but especially uh, those who are uh, in the house of God. Please put it there. I want to show something because I want to make sure that the devil doesn't, you don't lose the blessing of God. I say, I don't want you to lose the blessing of God. I say, I don't want you to lose the blessing of God. So that you understand why should I treat you? Because when I treat you as a brother, I treat you as a sister, that's where the power of God will come from. Do you understand? The power of God is available 24 hours, but it cannot come when I'm treating you as a, as, as a stranger. I'm treating you as somebody that you're not part of me. Okay? So I'm showing you so you understand what is it now. This is what the Bible says. Everybody look at it. In the book of Galatians 6 verse, it says, As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. Can we think the rest of it? Especially unto them who are of the household of one 
thing. Do, do you hear me? Hello? What he's saying is that it's good to be nice to everybody. It's good to love everybody. But especially, when someone says especially, that means that's what we want professional wide treatment because what the people the gods of what because what they are part of what the house of what God. Do we understand now? So do we see what the Bible says now? It says, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Who are the people who are in the household of faith? Who are the people believer? Once you are born again you are in the house of war of faith. So, okay, me, because I'm very practical whenever I teach or I preach. Right? I'm very practical because I wanted to understand. Now, I want to do something. I want to do something. I'm going down. Um, please stand up. Stand up. Stand here. Originally, where are you from? Your first place of birth, Nigeria. Stand up. Originally, where are you from? Call the country. Uh, okay. Understand. Eh? Uh -huh. Rwanda. Or oh, Uganda. Okay. Let's say you're from Rwanda, right? Come stand here. Stand here. You are from Nigeria, right? Right? Please, I want to help you understand it better. You are from Rwanda. You are from Nigeria. That is where your father come from. Your father come from. Now you lived in England. Right? But now in England, you got saved. Born again. In England, you got saved and you're born again, right? So, you know what just happened now? Based on your new faith now, you are no longer Rwanda. You are now in Christ Jesus. Based on your new faith, you are no longer in Nigeria. You are now in Christ Jesus Christ. So, based on one faith, you and Hannah are connected as well as sister in Christ. Even though you're from Rwanda by birth, but she's from Nigeria by birth, but in the spirit, two of you now have another birth, and the birth is in Christ Jesus Christ. So that means your treatment, listen to me, help me, your treatment, all right, let, let me help you understand. Um, that's your mom, right? Mom, come. Sorry, mom. We just want to help people understand. Okay. This is your mom. Okay. Stand here. You also, uh, she's your mom, right? Let me say family wife. Um, your boy is not here, right? Okay. Um, uh, easy. You from Nigeria? Yeah. <laughs> come. Okay. Come, come. Stand here. Stand here. No, it will help you understand. Just stand here. Stand close to her. Hold her hand. Hey, hold her hand. Hold your mom hand. Hey, will look up. Look up. She's from the East Africa. She's from West Africa. Right? She's also from East Africa. She's also from West Africa. Right? So that means the country where they come from. The nation where they come from. Now, that is the bat where they got born, right? The bat. Now, that's what connect this, connect this. But the moment you get born again, there is a shift. What is the shift? The shift that this part of you that is from your country, from East Africa, and this part of you that's from where West Africa, there is a change. So the change that now you've been taking up and taking up and joined to another set of family. So this family 
it's not by blood. It's not by tribe, by language. This family is by the spirit, which is why Jesus Christ. So now, look at what the Bible says. The Bible says now, it says in Galatians 6, verse 3, it says, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good one unto our own men. You see now, that means anytime you have opportunity, you're supposed to do good to our everybody, right? That means people from your country. But then he stopped. He said, especially unto our them who are at the household of God. So based on this scripture, everybody look up. Which one is supposed to be your priority? No. No, I understand. We're not using that. I know she's in Christ already. I know. I know you love your mom. Okay, hello, hello. I want to make you understand. According to this scripture, please let's carry. Who are you supposed to give more priority? Yes. Okay. So now, last, but let me show something. Yes, yes. So now, this is from South East Africa. This is from West Africa. This is West Africa. This is West Africa. That's the first the connection. Then when you get safe now, you're drawn to a sect of family, right? Hello, hello. I, I'm praying somebody will get in now. So in this family where you are now, it's Christ that connected you. So now look at what the Bible says. I know you're going to shock you. That means anytime you have opportunity to help somebody, it's not this one. It's not this one. It's this one. You know why? Because why? She's a different family right now. Can we read together and say, it says, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto our own men, especially unto them who are one of the house of God. So what should be your priority? I know your mom is looking at you. <laughs> so do we understand now? So who's supposed to be your priority? You are your short family. Thank you. Give me a half five. Alright, do you understand now? Or you can go back to Sina. Go back to Sina. So do we understand now? Do we understand? So who are you supposed to give more special treatment with? Who? But do you know it doesn't happen that way? That's why the devil there's no power in church. That's why we don't ask people because why you treat people based on why their country. But the Bible said the moment you get saved now, you belong to a, the household of one faith. That means you're my brother. I don't think mama. I know someone is difficult to understand, but that's the scripture. So who was, can you give me message? message so, so you understand. Most of you, you quickly <laughs> I, I'm a giver. I've given that sometimes even hurt me. I've given to my enemy that they use it to hurt me, against me. I know that. But look at what Mrs. says. He said, say, right now, therefore, every time we get a chance, let us work for the benefit of all. Starting, starting with the people closer to us in the community of our faith. So where are you supposed to start from? Where? The people who are, the person sitting to you now, that is where you're supposed to show them more love. But do you know, do we do that? No. That's why we don't see the power of God in church. I think I'm going to clap your hand. That's why why we don't see the power of God because why you only relate to your language people. Black and black, white and white, Cameroonians, Cameroonia, Ghana, Nigeria, Serenia. Can I tell you, if you are practicing that, do you know what? You are committing sin. Yes, ma'am. Okay, praise God. She said before that she will never go to uh, an African church. And I said, look at now, where are you now? You are uh, in an African church. You see the lie they told you? We're family, whether I am an African or I'm a, I'm a, I'm a British one, well, if you are born again, you become uh, one family. 
And if there's anyone that you need to show more, treat me, more show your favor, why? It's your church why? family, not your biological family. That's why we don't see the power of God in the church because why? You treat people based on color. Black go to black, white go to white. Because of that, treat me. See, you, you don't flow. You suspect the person next to you. Based on the scripture, if I'm supposed to show love, Okay, this is what they say. Give me apple fire because I want to understand. Because the reason why we don't see the power of God in church because why we are treating people based on your language, based on your color. It's wrong. I, I won't go to Jamaica church. I won't go to because you are looking at the church as Jamaica, but church is not a Jamaica, church is not Nigeria, church is a house of a war of faith. She vowed she will never go to African church, but today she's there. Because God have to say, no, you don't need that. Do you understand? Look at what Amplified says. He said, so then, while we as individual believers have the opportunity, let us do good to all people. Not only being helpful, but also while doing that which while promotes their spiritual well-being. And especially be a blessing to those of the household of faith, born again believers. But this is what we don't do that. If people understand it, they will never be a Sierra church. They will never be a Nigerian church. They will never be a black church. They will not be in a... Because why? People don't understand. So, if you are born again, you are who? We are family, right? You are my sister. You are my brother. So now, let's say, I refuse to do kindness to those who are in the household of faith. And do kindly to those who are my family. Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Can I ask you? Are we doing that right now? Yes. If I say, oh, I'm from your country. You're going to give more attention more. Right? Oh, I'm from your tribe. But if I'm saying, I am born again like you. Which country? Russia. Oh. Russia? No! The moment you're born again, there's no Russian. There's no Africans. Am I helping somebody right now? So all this Russian mindset, uh, African mindset, is because why? people why? do not know the power of God. That's why you treat somebody from their color. You treat somebody from their language. You treat somebody from where they come. Because why? That's why Jesus, the people why? do what aid. They do not know why? the power of God. So we're supposed to do what the Bible Say, do we understand now? Do we understand? Do we understand? So, who is your family? Those who are born again, right? You're from Congo, Nigeria. You're from Sierra Leone. You're from eh? Ghana. Well, I don't know why you like calling East Africa. Yes, Uganda, Rwanda. Okay, you're from. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. And you're from the same family. My daughter. If you're from where? Original physical. Jamaica, right? Oh, <laughs> you're not seen for a long time. I'm glad you saw it today. No, I'm just asking a question. You're from but your father is from where? Jamaica. Yeah. Where are you from, sir? Sir Leon. Ma'am, where is from? Nigeria. Madam, where are you from? Tanzania. Okay. Let me wait from Sierra Leone. Sir? Nigeria? Uganda? Sir? Uganda? Let me, excuse me. Sierra Leone? You mean? Nigeria? Pakistan? Is <laughs> Where are you from, sir? Sierra Leone? Sir? Where? Excuse me, sir. Where from? Sierra Zimbabwe. Uganda. Sierra Leone. Nigeria. 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 Jamaica. Nigeria. Nigeria. Ghana. Sierra Leone. Congo. Congo. So you see now we have different country here, right? You. Tanzania. All right. So. You can see now different languages here now. Okay. 
Do I speak your language? No. But the moment you are born again, who are we right now? So how am I supposed to treat you based on the Bible? Woman of God, how am I supposed to treat somebody that's not from my country? Thank you. You treat them why? As my brother, as my sister. You know why? The moment we begin to treat people in that way, you see the power of God will begin to move in that church. That means after service, do you know what to do? Most of you, you only look for people that can speak your language. Do you see that happening? Hey, which is not. So who is your family? So who are they? Where are they? Let me see them. Okay, show them love. So what am I saying? Because if I don't help you, you will never, never experience the power of God. For you to see the power of God, you must practice what the word of God say. So is it the right thing for Jamaica to go to Jamaica church? You're my brother. You're my sister. That's why I like your son. He said, I will not I will, I will not speak a word against you. Okay. So do we want to see the power of God in our churches? Do you want to see the power of God in our life? So how are we supposed to treat one another? So are we family? I want to give the last opportunity before I, I go to what I want to do. Stand on your feet. Do you want to do the will of God? Go to tell me, tell them, you're my brother and you're my sister. I love you just the way you are. Tell them. I love you just the way you are. Tell them. I say, go to somebody. You're my brother, you're my sister. I love you just the way you are. Tell them. Tell them, I love you just the way you are. Tell them I love it just the way you are. I love it just the way you are. Just the way you are. Tell them. I, love you. I yes. don't need I love you. Just the way you are. Just the way you are. Because I'm the Bible says. For you. I love it just the way you are. I love you. I need I you. you to survive. I love you. I believe you. You are the one to survive. Some of you are not. Oh, we are busy here. You don't go to the digital. We are about to leave your city. Go and show them why. Right. Go to the digital. Show them love. You are the one to survive. Those who are new. Those who have never seen. Go to them. Those who have never seen. Show them love because that's who we are. Those who have never seen. Go to them. Those who are new. Don't go to those who you know. That means you have not changed. Don't go to the people you know. If you go I to people, you. that means you have not changed. I you need deliverance. See your deliverance. You Some of you, can have you, have you, have you, have you, have you say hello to them? Have you go to them? You sure? You sure? Have you say hello to him? Oh, yeah, go say hello to him. Have you say hello to him? Go, go there, go there. You see now, they don't want to change. They want to be. Oh, have you said hello to him? Okay, your focus should be the new one. That's why the Bible says we are our family. As a family of Christ, we are one. It doesn't matter your language. You need me. We are. That's what the Bible says. Of God's body, stand with me. You have to go to and those who you are. You are the visitor. Go to those who are not. Let them know why wow, you are my God's brother. Body. Your problem is my problem. It your is pain is my pain. Your problem is my problem. That's what the Bible says. Your problem become my problem. Your pain is my pain. That is how she did. Do you understand that you need me. Oh, you are part of God's body. Stand with me. Thank you, God. I with me. We are a part of God's body. Emma, you can sit down. All right. Now, some of you, 
Some of you, I need to lay hands. <laughs> and all the while, lay leg. <laughs> you, you, you know, you just stay in your corner. No. <laughs> the first thing you should look at those who we have not seen before. Like our beloved sister, I've not seen her for more than two years now. If she's here now, go after her, cleanse it. Go and grab her. You just sit on your seat, go and grab her. Let her know that they are welcome, right? You got her too holy, too holy, too. So the first thing I've established according to the Bible, who are we? You see, Mama, I'm not seeing Mama here for a long time now. If Mama come like that, Mama, this Mama, Mama, look at another Mama here. Uh, you're, doing, you're doing well. We'll get there. Do we understand now? Who are we according to the Bible? So that means their pain is your pain. You only send money to only to your family members in Africa. And they use the money to go and consult witchcraft against you. Your church family come to you. I need some transfer money. I bind you. Go and walk. Right. And you did. Good. So, do we understand that? I'm trying to show why the power of God doesn't move in our church because why? It's all about tri- now. My church in at Florida, Kissimmee. I have only one African. Only one. My resident pastor. Every other person are from another country. Because I do not encourage vernacular in church. I say, if you are leading worship, even if it's in your language, put English there. Don't come here. Let me see my language song. La, 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 la. And people are looking at you. They don't even know what you are saying. Explain to them. Some of you, you are singing your vernacular songs on the pretty, and the people are there. They don't be connect. It doesn't bother you. You are enjoying yourself. And the sister said, "What is he saying? What, what is? He? I don't understand." That means you don't care about anybody. You only care about yourself. It's not right. Here we don't encourage vernacular song. If you see vernacular, explain to the people, man. This is what it may be because why you want to. You are taking cousins of the person sitting next to you. Now, number two, I'm going to find out. How many of you this morning, when you walk in here, you sat next to somebody, you ask them their name? Anybody here? You ask the person sitting next to you their name. You see, you didn't do that. Please. What's her name? You see, see I just used the one. What is that? You just the first. <laughs> I just use it for drama. Where are you at? <laughs> Remember, I just use them right now. The best spirit of families. Oh, sister, you know what's your name? At least let me know you. She just sat down. I will not stop until all of us change. Because the power of God can move when you, you treat people. Um, if I, how many people greeted you today? How many came and asked your name? You say nobody. You say I'm nobody. It's them. Keep on greeting. Uh, if he doesn't answer, uh, keep on keep on doing it. Good. Keep on doing it. You know what? In the church, right? In the family, there are children who are very reserved. Okay? Not that they want to be reserved because of what they have been through. Make them reserved. Go to them, one. Go to them, two. Go to them somehow. You know what? The more you do, the more you bring them out of their shell. So don't expect anybody to be lively like you. Easy. I know you are lively, but there are reserved people here. So be here with them. Okay? 
to be led them around. <laughs> a person, he didn't understand. I share everybody love. Nobody, 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 nobody respond to my love. Because we are, we are different. We are why are we are different. We have the loud one. We have the quiet one. We have the one who are in your share. But you see, tell me hello. Say hello. You are sowing the seed. You are sowing the seed. One day, the quiet person now will be loud. Please, if I don't establish this family syndrome that is not working in church, we will not see the power of God. The power of God can only move when we see ourselves as a family of the kingdom of God. The question comes that now, as a family, let me explain because I want to say something. Today is the last day of the month of October. So, as a family, let me also help you understand we are not perfect. Only one person say yes, sir. As a family, among us, sir, there are liars. In the same family, there are thieves. Yes. There are gossipers who are PhD. <laughs> yes, they are there. So, I want to give you the true picture. So, a person, I would have loved to say hello to one. I said, tell me, you know, I greet him many times. If he didn't respond to me, yes. That is his character. Uh, I understand how you're telling to. That's why I like you. <laughs> so, why am I saying that? So that you understand. Luke chapter 1, verse, Luke, I think Luke 4, 4 verse um, uh, 36, right? In the family of God, Jesus said, I did not come to those who are holy or those who are perfect. Or, okay? I, okay? So, I want you to understand. So, let me explain because something is about to be broken today. Say amen. The Lord told me I should pray for everybody. There's a spell of witchcraft that will be broken today. The Lord told me I need to break it. That's why I'm showing this before I pray for you. You know, today is, is Halloween, right? Demo of death spirit I released from yesterday all over London. They are released. So the Lord said, break it. But before breaking, give you understanding. Now, in the book of Luke 5, okay, can you go from 31? From 31. Okay, leave here for leave it, leave here first. Can we say I came not to call one the righteous, but one the sinner to repent? Her. So Jesus said, Among us here, there are sinners. So that means he did not come for who? So that means don't expect to see everybody in church be righteous. Oh, yeah. Let me go to this area. Don't expect to see everybody in church who are righteous. Righteous me doing the right thing. That means the person in this unit can do something very stupid. So, is this your family? Yes. I told you a story here. My, my daughter invented to give this money. I went to a conference in Dudley, right? In a conference, it was a prophetic conference. I saw a man of God there, a white guy. They were praying. Power was moving. Things were happening. Then after the break, you know what? When I went out, I saw him and other people outside smoking. Do you know, it crushed my spirit. I didn't eat the breakfast. I didn't go, go for the break. So he knew I saw him. Then after that, I came back into the toilet. Then I went to the bathroom, to the toilet. He came to me. He said, um, Man of God, I know you saw me. Uh, smoking, yeah? I say yes. He said, please, I see your brother. Pray for me. This is what I've been dealing with. Do you know I repented because I've judged him already. You see, that's what Jesus, Jesus came for. Who? Sinners. The reason most of you are offended because why? You expect the usher, everybody why? to act in the righteous way. The moment they stop acting in the righteous way, why? You say you cast them out. Jesus said he did not come back for what to the righteous one, he come back for sin. That means among the family, there are people that will be hypocrites. Do you get the point now? There are people that will be what hypocrite. Are they see your family? Yes. But do you know? Do you know some of the members of your family they have some character, right? But have you disowned them? But why is it that you disown people who are in church? Lack of our understanding. So Jesus didn't come to who? So there are people here. Say never. I am not perfect. 
I'm going to do something stupid one day. But I am still your brother. I'm still your sister. Mama, who are you talking to? Let's repeat. Say, neighbor. Look at somebody. I don't talk to the direct eye. Talk to somebody. Say, neighbor. I am not perfect. I'm going to do something stupid one day. But I'm seeing your brother and your sister. You see, if you don't know, you know, you know what? I don't like hypocrisy. I don't like hypocrisy. I don't like gossip. I don't have it. No, 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 no. Can the hand say you're not part of the body? Can the eye say you're not part of the body? I told you so here one time. There was once upon the time there was a war in the body. The eye said, I am the one that see the food. Okay? And then the mouth eat it. The ear say, I was the one that they call and I had it. And I came. But you mouth, you ate everything. The hand say, I'm the one that dipped my hand into the floor and ate it. But you mouth, you ate everything. Do you understand? And the bottom say, I'm the one that sat down for the food to be enjoyed. But you mawa, you eat it. The food say, I'm the one who walked there and collect the food. And then everything, the man wa eat it. Do you understand? So the whole body begin to go for riot. Then the man say, you know what? The best thing to do, I will stop eating. <laughs> so the man say, you know what? I'm not going to eat again. So the man closes on for one week. Two weeks, the man said, the brain food. Mm-mm. 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 Suddenly, the heart begin to get weak. The eye begin to go inside. The ear begin to get what? longer. The foot couldn't move again. The bottom couldn't sit again. Quickly, they call the rayo and say, let's cancel this rayo right now. Let's cancel this rayo now, right now. They came back to say, Mr. Moore, we just realized that even though when you eat, we don't eat, but it affects us. And that's why they cancel the riot. <laughs> so that tell me, that means when the mouth is eating, the heart will not know, but the nutrient is going. What does that mean? That is how church are. But so a person, it's all about sister. Hey, it's all, no, listen to me. In the church, there are hypocrites. I don't, I don't want to go to that church because all of them are hypocrites. Then cut your hand off. So I'm saying it because why? Jesus said, I did not come called one righteous. So if you're looking for righteous place here, you miss it. Can I also give you bad news? Even the devil is here himself. Because the Bible says in the book of Job 1, one day, the children of God were having a meeting. Mr. Lucifer was there. Devil go there. So there could be devil here. So don't be surprised if somebody manifests devil here. Because why? Jesus didn't come why? for the righteous. Why? Who does he come for? Okay, now that means there's no perfect people here. The look of verse 31. And Jesus answered and say unto them, They that are at home need not a physician. But they that were at sick. So that may I told the church were hospital. Are you surprised, ma'am, when people in emergency are crying? Are you, are you surprised? Oh my God, why are you shouting? They were in emergency. They are going to pain. So you are surprised. Oh my God. But if you go to administration quarter, it's quiet. But emergency, they are on pain, they must shout. So, church war is a hospital. Can I give you surprise news? Everybody here is sick. You may not be sick with disease, but your finance is sick. You may not be sick in your finance, why, why, but your marriage is why sick. And only one doctor, Jesus Christ. Can cure us. Do we get it now? Do we understand now? So then, why are we surprised 
if we see people manifesting problems in church, we say, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. there's so much in church. Where do you want them to go? When we, we, we are sick, they go to the hospital. But today, when there's so many problems in church, people say, I can't believe it. there's so much demon in that church. Where do you want demon, the demon people to go to? Oh, you're looking at me. Uh, Jesus said one well, in the look Matthew 11 verse 20. He said, Come unto me, oh who you are, who are level and heavy lady. I will give you one. So then where do you want them to go? You know, most of you in your eye, you want everybody in church to be perfect. Now, men, you're wrong. Because why Jesus came to those who are who are sick, and he came to those who are who are not living right. But paraventure, one day, as they keep on taking the medicine. What I'm giving to you now, I'm giving you drug right now. As they're taking it one day, one day those who are sick will get well, right? And those who are hypocrite will get well deliver, right? That is why the church is all about. Do we understand? Do we understand? Do you understand? Because if I don't explain, you will not enjoy the best of the church. The church is a family. The church is a hospital. I also told the church why it's not for perfect people. So don't expect me to be perfect. But do you know many people have left the church because they expect peace to say something nice? Oh, I don't like the vocal, the way he dressed. People leave church for different things, but they never left their family. You will never fire your family member with all they did to you, right? And nobody, but you still love them. So I'm telling you, if you're part of the family, there are people that will be loud. There are people who are timid. Please don't cut them off because you are too holy. So do we get it now? Do we understand now? So I also told you a church is what a, a, a school where we can what to learn, grow the world. The church what is what a school. I told you that. I also told you the church what is also what a restaurant where we come to eat. I told you. I told you in Timothy and in Peter. He said, he said, those who are what, the best guy eat the word of God and we go. So a church is where we come and eat. The, food, the meal. Now this morning I'm feeding you right now. I'm doing what? I'm feeding you. With the more you eat it, the more you get strength. I also, I also told you a church where you discover your destiny. Right? And then you will help you fulfill it. I also told you a church where you get what? A covering. That means if you don't belong to a church family, can I tell you what? If you die, who bury you? If you are not part of this church, if you come here for me to wait, I will never marry you because I don't know you. You are not under my covering. I can never marry you. So when you belong to a church now, I leave the church. Why? You become a covering. If you, are, you die, the church can bury you. Right? Okay? If you, if you are, are stranded, the church can step in for you now. Most of you are giving me form to pay for you. You want the British passport or you want to get your children into school. I could do it because you are under a covering of the church. But you don't belong to any church and you are in need now. You just come here. Can you sign this for me? I can't. Because why? You are not why? under my covering. So, I want to help you understand why church is what cover you. Right? 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 So, you need a covering. Because you never know the day attack will come. You need a covering. You never know when something is going to happen. That they will call you a pastor. And your pastor will do that. Why? Because why? A church is where I give you a account. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews uh, 13, verse 17, it says, Obey those who have rule over you. For why? They will watch over why? your soul. And they will give you account. So, how will I give account if I don't see in church? If I'm going to give account, at least that you know what you do, right? If you do what you do, I have no idea where you are. How will I pray for you? Even if you are not coming to church, give me the honor as a pastor. Hey, apostle, I can't make it. Text me. Understand you are busy. Why? So that I can keep you in prayer. You are traveling. Lord, the angel protect you. But you don't call. You believe that you don't need any covering. Do you pray now? So do we see what the church we are now? Do you now? Okay. Now, I also told you, last week, such Friday, Sunday, that the, in church, why? who are you? You are a soldier. Say, I'm a soldier of Christ. Say, I'm a soldier of Christ. Say, I'm a soldier of Christ. So, I also told you that soldier, and the book of Timothy, uh, two, uh, I, think, I think two of us, four, say, he said, as a soldier of the Christ, you should do what? Endure hardness. So, I'm going to stop from there, then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to pray for you.
Because why? Now, as a soldier, there's something you're, you're supposed to expect. Okay? Now, in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 33, you say what? Can we together, everybody? Thou there endure hardness why? as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Say, I'm a soldier of Christ. That's what the Bible is saying. And I will do what the Bible say. So, say neighbor. Look at somebody. Neighbor, you are not a civilian. You are a soldier. Let me tell you one thing you don't know about soldier. The moment you join soldier is a family. Do you know, you may not like each other, either black or white. If you're going to battle, you must cover your, 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 your neighbor. When they're going, you say, you go. Because one, one of your mistakes, all the battalion can be killed. Soldier, you, once you, you must protect one another. So that means it's your job. If you don't see winning, ask, are you okay? Begin to pray for her. Winning, if you don't see, just a thing. Find out. That means your prayer as a soldier, begin to protect her. Begin to cover her. If you don't see a brother in church, why your own reach out for them because soldier protect one, one another. So just why defend the nation. So how can you say you are a church? You are a soldier, you will never intercede for the church. So soldier, what do they do? They protect one another because we are we are fighting against principalities and power and spiritual war wickedness. Say I'm a soldier. Anything that affects my brother. I will go after them. I will dismantle them. I will cancel their power. They will not succeed. The Bible says one will chase a thousand, two one will chase two thousand. Do you know if you have three people praying for you, do you know that the likelihood of your survival is higher than only you praying for yourself? Most of you, you pray for yourself. That's why you're where you are. But we have five brothers and sisters who are interceding, who are doing warfare on your behalf. Devil can kill you. I said, devil can kill you. I said, devil can kill you. I said, devil can kill you. In the name of Jesus. Because that's what, that's what the Bible says you are. Say, I'm a soldier of Christ. Say it. Shout it. Now, so that the devil will know who you are. The devil attack you because what? he has no idea you are a soldier. Say, I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. I will defeat any power that come against me or my family or my children in the name of Jesus Christ. So do you see now? Are you a soldier? Do you know a soldier doesn't die? No. If you kill them, if you cut their leg, they're moving. You cut their hand, they're moving. Soldier never die. Therefore, you will never die. Alright? And I also told you that because you're a soldier, a church war is an army war barrack. That's what we train you to fight. Every Friday, we teach you school of warfare. Remember? Every Friday, we teach you how to fight. How to defeat the work of wicked ones. That's what I teach you Friday. So, church, when you come here, you'll be equipped because there are wicked guys out there. There are warlords, satanists. Today, now, the, the, the Halloween people are releasing spirit out. If you go to church who don't know how to pray, they will shoot you arrow and kill you. But today you are going to survive everything in Jesus' name. I say you are going to survive everything in Jesus' name. All right, now I'm going to do something. And then we're going to pray, and then I did. so. Now I've given you about seven things what the church can do for you. Now, so who are we fighting? I'm going to show you what we're fighting, and I'm going to show you how we can defeat that thing. We are fighting a lot of things, but there's one that I want to pray for you about today. Now, in the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse twelve. I'm going to show you one of the spirits that is fighting us as a church. And I'm going to show you how we can defeat that spirit. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Please, can we read together, everybody? Uh -huh. Okay, he said, For we rest in our again flesh and blood, but against what principalities? Against what power? Against what rulers of darkness of this world? Can we finish the last one now? Against what? 
Okay. You know, the last one is called what? No. You say, the, what, is, what, is, what is the one, the character of this one? Wickedness. So that's where witches and wither come from. Therefore, this afternoon, every witch, every wizard will die. You don't need to take them to November. Now, among all these four groups, the most wicked part of them is witches and wizards. But unfortunately, they are in your family. Unfortunately, they may even be here. Uh, so, do you want them to follow you to the month of November? What should we do to them? Down. He gave description. Look at it. He said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what principalities and power, right? Against what rulers of darkness of this world, against what spiritual wickedness. We, let me tell you if, you if there's any delay in your life, which is involved. Ah, if there's a delay of marriage or job, witches are involved. If your problem is too long to be solved, witches or wizards are involved. Witches and wizards don't know mercy. They want to kill you. But today they will not succeed in Jesus' name. I said they will not succeed in Jesus' name. I said they will not succeed in Jesus' name. Say so in the name of Jesus. Every activity of witches, of wizard, hunting me, I am bringing you down now. Only one person stood up. If you're a soldier, you, you talk like a soldier. Stand on your feet. Are you a soldier? Only one person stood up. Are you a soldier? Everybody do like this. Attention! Do like this. To the commander of heaven. Now I'm about to teach you how to fight. Everyone say, attention! Salute the heavenly heavenly. So now, are you a soldier? What does a soldier do? Oh, this guy. Okay, let me go in. Are you a soldier? What does a soldier do? Are you a soldier? What does a soldier do? I think they lie to you that you're a civilian. You're not. That's why you can't fight. We're about, I'm gonna, we're about to, today's the last day of the month of what? October. And the, that's the, October is the month of witchcraft. And on those who are new, who understand. The person, when the witches is after you. Ha! Thank you. When witches, most of you here, about 16 of you, and you're on a witchcraft attack. You always sleep in church. You, let me give you five things that you know which have done. If you're under witches, you will easily forget. If you easily forget your glasses, so you hold your glasses in your hand and say, where's my glasses? You're under witchcraft. No, I'm telling you, the spell of witchcraft, I'm going to give you five things that if you don't happen in your life, man, you're under witch. One day, I came to, you know, cash machine, right? ATM. I put my pin from nowhere. I forget my pin number. Now there are people queuing behind me, and most of them are white. They believe that I, I stole the card. But from nowhere, I have a blanket. Blank out. It's a Mr. Man. If you steal that place, can you get out from the way? We want to take our money now. But the moment I left that place right now, it came back. I'm showing the same tone that you're under witchcraft spell. You will forget what you're not supposed to forget. You'll be forgetting your name. What's your name? Um... No, I'm very serious. I see happened to somebody here. Yes. I'm showing. I'm going to show five people. We're going to pray. I'm sure you don't understand. If you're under witchcraft spell, you will forget what you're not supposed to forget. You know this sister say, um, um, you know her. 
So that's why we must kill them today. Okay, we don't say, Amy, you are a suspect. We are about to pray because this is the last day. So, you are not supposed to. The Bible said the memory of the just one is blessed. How can you forget even your, your pain? How can you forget what, what you are not supposed to? Because you are under a witchcraft spell. See that? Write it, write it down. Write this five things before we pray. Let me show you. Easily forgetting things. Write down, write down, write down. Then we're going to pray. Easily why? Forgetting things. You forget it easily. You don't know why. You forget things and you throw things here. You are under a witchcraft spell. Number two, to show that you are under a witchcraft, you will be losing money, losing car, losing property. You don't. You lose things anyhow. What do I say? Why you will lose money? You can't tell. You lose your things. You lose. You don't. You'll be losing when you are losing everything in your life. You can't know what you. You lose car. You lose shooting. You lose religion. Why you are under why, a witchcraft why, spell? You lose things. You lose friendship. Nobody, nobody stay with you for long. You lose people, you connect with you today, you lose one. You will never stay long in any relationship. You're under a witchcraft spell. You lose a lot of things, you don't know why. You put money, you can't find the money. You can't account how much you want because when you're under witchcraft, the mission, everything you gather, you lose it. Friends, you lose it. Relationship, you lose it. It's a sign you're under a witchcraft spell. Number three. Perpetual nightmare. You only dream about cow. You only dream about snake. You only dream about a monster coming after you. You always having a monster or something following you, and you wake up in the morning and you are tired. You're under what? a witchcraft spell. You sleep for five hours, eight hours. You wake up, you are see tired witchcraft. But I have no sleep. I sleep a lot. But why are you tired? Because they use you in the night. I'm not giving you three, right? Four. Tiredness. The four is what? Tiredness. You know it. You slept well, but you're always tired. You're tired in the day, tired in the night. It doesn't matter how many hours you sleep, you're tired. That means somehow. Okay? All right, and then number four, number five, witchcraft max. You wake up in the morning, you see a fingernail. As I told you before, you see a mark somewhere in your body, or you see some mark, you can't know where the mark comes from. There are marks in your body, either your chest, either your lap, there's marks around you. You can't explain how they are fight with anybody. No, because why? It's a witchcraft finger. And you. But today we are going to remove those marks in Jesus' name. I said we are going to remove them in Jesus' name. Amen. Number six. Because I want to help you so that you know exactly where all this is coming. Perpetual rejection. People reject you no matter how good you are. You do your best. They will say no. You offer the best. They will reject it. You go for every interview. You do your best. They will reject you. If you're already rejected, something is wrong. Rejection. In every interview, they reject you. In everything, people reject you. They don't, they don't want, they say no, but you give your best. Sister, when you're under witchcraft, pray, anything you do, they don't see it. Because why? Witchcraft is why all praise on you. Do you understand? Number six, number seven, mental oppression. Your mind is not stable. You think about things too much. You worry too much. You don't know why you're worrying. Mental oppression. Your mind is oppressed. You are praying, you are thinking. You are singing, you are thinking. You are worshipping, you are thinking. Mental oppression. Your, your mind is oppressed 24 hours. Your mind is traveling to Canada, to Japan. To, because why? Your, they oppress you mentally and you're going to have accident. The more your mind is being oppressed, why? the more you are prone to what? accident. Do you understand now? Mentally oppression. They send arrow into your mind. You're perpetually thinking and worried and, and just having anxiety. Which crap is oppressing you? But today we're going to break it. I said we're going to break it. I said we're going to break it. I said we're going to break it. 
phenomenal witchcraft oppression in my mind. The joy of the law is my strength. Is anybody here sometime that I thought the fruit to your mind, you don't like it? Anybody here? Okay, there are two holy people here. You try to control your you you wonder where the thought is coming from. Thank you, man. You see, if you don't admit you have a problem, I can't help you. You know, sometimes you want to pretend you're holy. This is just all over her problem. Forget. You may not have this one, but you have another one. Your mind is perpetually oppressed. You don't feel good about yourself. Something is telling you something is wrong. Man, when witchcrafts after you, they'll put a thought in your mind to disarm you. Have you seen a beautiful lady think that she's ugly? Why do people do all those things in their body? Because something tells them they are ugly. And they are not ugly. So they have to do extra thing to get somebody. The devil is ugly. You do everything. You will puncture every part of your body. You're beautiful, but the enemy, when you're on a witchcraft, they'll tell you, you must do this, you must do this, and you do, and do, and do. You're not asking because why? When you're, your mind will tell you, Ay. But today, whatever spell, we are breaking it in Jesus' name. I say, we are breaking it in Jesus' name. I say, we are breaking it in Jesus' name. I say, we are breaking it in Jesus' name. I say, we are breaking it in Jesus' name. You want to be free? Yes. It's going to happen today. Yes. In the next six minutes, it's going to happen today. Say, Amen. Yes. Say, everything holy me, I am going to break out of it in the name of Jesus. I'm going to give you two now. We're going to pray. So, how many am I give you now? I'll give you seven, right? Let me give you three. So, now I'm sure, sure that you know the symptom. Number seven, number eight. If you have a sickness or disease that keep on occurring every year, which grab is involved. Sickness, right? Some of you, every year, you will catch flu. No matter you take flu short, you catch it. If you have a disease that keep on occurring every year, which grab hand is there? It could be migraine. It could be high blood pressure. It could be whatever. It keep on Every year or every season, you get all the treatment, it's not going. Witchcraft is involved. That's number eight, right? Because if I don't show you this, you think, oh, I, 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 I'm okay. No, you're not. There's so many. I don't have all, but I'll just give you what I want so that when we pray, you know exactly. Some of you, you have a repeated problem. Repeated cancer leaves you here and go to another body. You get cancer. I know a lady, she has a cancer of the breast. They cut off this breast. The cancer comes here. Right now, they've cut up. She doesn't have a breast. But right now, part of her body is showing cancer again. So, cancer leave here, go to another part of you. It keep on happening. When witchcraft, when doctor can treat you, can give you the best of it, they cannot get because why? Witchcraft is involved in that sickness or that disease. But today, we're going to break that thing off in Jesus' name. I said, we're going to break that thing out in Jesus' name. I said, we're going to break that thing out in Jesus' name. I said, we're going to break that thing out in Jesus' name. Number nine. Continual struggling. What do I say? Why? Continual struggling. Endless. I like that. Endless. Why? Struggling. You struggled since you were 19. Now you are 30. You are still struggling. Endless. Why? Struggling. You say, but when will, it, when will it be over? No. If you're under witchcraft, it doesn't come to over. Endless. You struggle in your children. You're a single parent. You're struggling. Now, your job, you're struggling. Endless struggle. You struggle, you can't come. When which come, you will struggle. Oh. You will lay your hand in every business. It will not work. Endless war, struggle. That's number nine. I'm showing you when which come, you struggle. At least there should be a day you should rest, right? You never rest. There should be a year. Everything should be okay now. You never come. But you say, well, what have I done? You have confessed all your sin. You repented all the repenting sin. But struggle continue. Ma'am, there's a witchcraft around what you're going through right now. But we're going to break it right now. I said we're going to break it right now. 
I said, we're going to break it right now. Can anybody identify with that? That you struggle sometimes? You struggle so many of your life? And it's been a long struggle. Anybody here? That struggle has been for more than two years. Anybody here? You guys are too holy here. Continue. Thank you for being honest. And if you struggle for 10 years, you should rest, right? At the 80, at 70, you are still struggling. <laughs> the way you do your heart, just do a heart like this. <laughs> you know, when the, your, your body can speak language, you do like this. It's an African thing. <laughs> and if there should be time, you should enjoy, right? How will you struggle? With, they have laid hand on you. They have poured oil on you. They have gone to Jerusalem, take oil. They bath you. You've done seven fasting. You've done white fasting, black fasting, yellow fasting. It's not going because why? When we scramble, do all the fasting. But today we're going to terminate it. Yeah. We're going to uh, terminate every witchcraft. Because witchcraft, when it's not turning, it's wicked. Ay, they, they leave you, they look for your children. They look for your children. Your children are also struggling too. They transfer children. Your grandchildren are also struggling too. He said, but when will it end? But what the family are prospering, they're enjoying it. Whatever they talk about you, 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 even for you to get one breakthrough, you have to pray, 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 pray. One small breakthrough now. You say, I may palm another one come. <laughs> struggling is a sign of witchcraft. But whoever has placed a cross on you, we're going to remove that spirit today in Jesus' name. We're going to break it today in Jesus' name. We're going to cut you out. All right. Nine, right? Let me stop you now. I'll give you the tenth one before we pray. So do you, can you give me permission to pray? No. Are you sure? Yes. You will not come and accuse me? Are you sure? Can you give me permission to pray for you? Yes. Are you sure you want me to pray? Yes. Okay. I say this because I told you a story here. I met a graduate. She said, in Africa, in Nigeria, she said, deputy director. I don't know how I'm going to rank it, but it's a very high rank in office. She's not married. At that time, she's 40. Is it 42 or 48? She has PhD. She's not married. So she came to a meeting as a student like they say, if there's a witchcraft holding you down in your marriage, I'm going to pray and break it. Everybody say yes. And I prayed, I broke it. After I broke it, somebody in her family fell sick. And they took the person to the hospital. And the person who was about to die, allowed it, she, she, she came to me and attacked me. He said, can you change the prayer? Can you revise the prayer? I said, yes, ma'am. I said, Father, I reverse the prayer. In one week, she became mad. She, she was eating her cloth. <laughs> she ate her cloth physically. You see? That's why I asked you, can I pray? Last time, I, how many remember I, I asked a prayer here and pray and something happened? How many remember I asked a prayer and you remember? And something happened. So um, the, the same thing I'm going to do now. So don't come attack me because I don't know who is behind your problem. The person may even be here. Do you understand now? I don't know who is behind why you have problem. Witchcraft are the most powerful spirit who do wickedness. Ah. Just a friend, come. Why don't we come? come. I just have an anointing. If you agree, I should pray. I just saw something right now. Unfortunately, that thing is in the family. Somebody doesn't want your wife to have a baby for you. No, I'm not asking you, asking it. Somebody in the family doesn't want your wife to have a baby for you. What should, should I pray? And it's going to happen before not to December. It's going to happen.
Everybody begin to pray in the spirit. Shut up about everyone holding the baby of your daughter. By your power, I break it. I break every spell to stop me from having baby. I break by the power. I release that spell. I overturn it to the honor. Now, in Jesus name. Hmm. The person is in the family. From now to December, you're going to hear news. Listen to me. That's what the Bible says. Why suffer not? Why a wish to leave? Hey, 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 your family. Ah. Ah. There are wicked people in your family, then. Plenty, you know, right? But. So, do you, should, we, should we take care of them? Stand up. The moment I touch you, I saw a woman and a man behind you, and I saw their teeth, and I see blood coming out. The Lord said, There's a witchcraft in your family sucking everything you have. You're supposed to be very well. Oh, you build a house, right? They are afraid of your wealth where God is taking you. So therefore, they are conjuring everything to stop you. But today, in the name of the Son of God, we break the witchcraft power by your power. We break the power. Push. Go back to them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overturn their power. Fire. Everybody pray in the Holy Ghost. They are dealing with witchcraft right now. Break them. Break them. Break them. Break them. Break them. We break them. We break them now. Sit down, sit down. My eyes, my prophetic eyes open right now. Come, come, come. Come, come. Somebody is draining your money. Do you, do you build a house at home? Where? Uganda. Uganda. How many houses do you have? Like hmm? Because of the house you build in Uganda, somebody wants to kill you. Four houses in Uganda. They want to they are afraid of you. They want to take it. They took two already. Okay. All right. All right. They took two already. And they want to take the rest. But the Lord showed me right now. You see that those who are responsible, should I deal with them? She's looking at me. Should I go ahead? As she said four, right? They said they are taking one, two already. And they are about to take it before December 19th. Right now, you're struggling financially. Am I right? And they're a member of the family. Everybody will pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray. Which is wizard that don't play? And we can't play. Begin to pray. Pray for her. Show your hand to us. Show your hand. So your hand begin to pray. Let's deliver her. So your hand to us. Stand up, stand up. No, 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 no. Stand, stand. You'll be free today. You'll be delivered. You'll be delivered from your power. Close your eyes, close your eyes. You'll be delivered from your power. That God will deliver from every witchcraft. Oh, Rabban, 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 Rabban,
Today in the name of Jesus, we break it right now. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Mando osi ikibiantu ya. Rigados. Mantari. Shobala bada bada bada. Who is it that is saying the things that are coming to pass with God and whatever they are saying about you? By your power, we break it. We release you from that covenant. Be free from their hope. We overturn their covenant. And we send it back to the center. In the name of Jesus. Open your eye. I want to see you in my office after. I'm seeing a picture, but I don't want to say public. Hmm. I'll talk to you after service. You see, when we come to wishes, I know those of you who are new to this, they, you may think that I don't believe there are more witches in England. Fire! Lord, anoint her to break as which can. God is anointing you to break which can in your family. Fire! Fire! Rimanos, Kadi Igados, Mango Os, Kotoya, Ribadas, Katatata, Ribababa, Fire, Rebos, Soto, Man Tadi Igado Oski, Fire, Rimamos, Ribababasat, Santa, Fire, Rabababasat, Ramonos, E Capadu Usketea, Bran Tadi Igado Us, Ribadabasat, Ramamamaso, Robobos. Ribebebian tadi ada ada basa. Ridi 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 dios. Kede de 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 de. Yeros. Mama mama sata. Makadus kadi ike ya dos. De 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 de. Sete 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 sete. Man todi iga dos. Rabaya. Rabau. Fire. Rababas. Fire. Man dos kadi ika payo. Fire. Rebebebebebebe sete. Sandos, Kadi Ikeda Dadas, Rabababasu, Sandedi, Rabacado Oskete di Icapadaba, Mando Oskede de Dedos, Capadus, Kadi Icapaya, Mande de Dedos, Rababasata, Rino Oskepe di Icapayo Nos, Ragadi Igianos, Kadi Icapaya. Satatatatat Rabababasu Sunday Sakapakarabakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasakasak
Iya mama masuk. Lady, lady, you need prayer seriously. Who invite you here? You need prayer seriously. Your life is cage. You are cage. You are trying to come out, but you are cage. God brought you here to deliver you. Listen to me. I call her. Most of you look so cute. You're not. You look as if nothing's wrong with you. The rainbow is pretty. Sandals. The blessing of the Lord make it rich, right? And add a sorrow. Most of you, you have what you call blessing, that's sorrow. If you are blessed, there shouldn't be sorrow. If there's sorrow in the blessing, because witchcraft is involved. You have a job, you're not enjoying it, witchcraft. You're married, you're not enjoying your marriage, witchcraft. Because the blessing of the Lord shouldn't have sorrow. The blessing is supposed to make you rich. But what you call blessing, look at sorrow. Attack one attack. Oh wait, that's why God brought you. Today's the last day. We are going to in November. Something must be terminated today. Amen. You look so pure, pious and silver. Hey, I'm a prophet. Just that I'm very mature. That's something I don't say. It. But I believe today that God brought you here because this is the hospital. This is the school. This is the place where God wanted to be delivered. Whatever has haunted you to this place, today we are terminated it in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, when, when you are free from witchcraft, things will begin to happen. Breakthrough will begin. You're going to see. The, ah, most of it, anything you touch always go a while. Because the reason why they are doing because you don't even know they are attacking you. The devil will never tell you he's a devil. Most of the thoughts that go through your mind, a lot of times it is you. It's not you. It's the devil. The de- most of you believe the devil is we are black. No. The devil is the most beautiful creature. People that are fighting you are very close to you. You never suspect they have witchcraft. Ah. There are three people here. You have a seed of witchcraft inside of you. What do I say? You have a seed of witchcraft. It's growing. You're here. It's inside of you, but you don't even know. It's growing. It's growing. It's growing. Three of you. Seed of witchcraft is inside of you. And then it will grow to a certain level. Whereby you'll be doing a lot of the social. You don't even know why. You think something, it happened. Let me show you the one. Anytime you think about something, about somebody, negatively, negative things happen to that person. You're the person I'm talking about. But God loves you. That's what he brought you here to be free. So don't, don't show piracy. I may not go to this, not for deliverance, but something needs to be broken. So that you enter November with a good blessing. Say amen. Because witchcraft is real. The seed of witchcraft needs to be destroyed. Let me show you three things that you must not say that one minute, then I will pray. Three things I want to show you so that what you physically write down this as we are close. The, the symptoms of witchcraft in the first instant is what? Let me show you. How will you know somebody have a seed of witchcraft? They have what we call a controlling spirit. Write it down. They control people. They want to control people. Write it down. I'm going to show. I'm going to show you one. Anyone that have a controlling spirit, they have a seed of witchcraft in them. They want to control everybody. Controlling spirit, they control you. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. Controlling spirit is witchcraft. Number two, manipulation. Manipulation. And this is very common with children. Children know how to manipulate the father, the parents. Children can manipulate you with tears. Which we may also have it. They can manipulate you with tears too, for you to give them something. If you have that spirit in you, change. 
they manipulate you by crying, by doing all this for you to do what you want. Manipulation is a science of witchcraft. They manipulate you by falling down, doing some things. If you have that change. Number three, domination. They want to dominate you. Domination is almost one like one um, control. Okay? But the, the other one actually I want to talk about, the fourth one, is intimidation. So this one, that's what men have. They want to intimidate anybody. This side. You must listen to me. If you don't obey me, you will die. Pastor also have it. Leaders. They want to intimidate you. Do you know who I am? If you leave my church, you're going to die. The witchcraft. So I'm showing you so that you begin to see the physical sign before I, the spiritual sign. When somebody wants to intimidate you by that position, check it out. This is see the witchcraft in them. They put fear in you. You must do it. Ah! No, no. When you see somebody like that, watch them. They are growing. That seed is not there yet, but it's going to that place where they will start sucking blood. Now, they have not sucked blood yet. If you know who I am, you can't talk to me like that. If you, I'm going to pull a scars on you right now. No, that is intimidation. When you begin, you don't, you're not, you're not, you don't need to intimidate anybody. Because when you do that, it's a seed of witchcraft that is growing. And then manipulation. They manipulate you with words. Manipulate you with, with sex. If you don't do this one, I will never have, you have sex with you. They manipulate husband, manipulate wife, one manipulate husband. All this. And children manipulate parents with tears. Listen to me. If you don't deal with this one, these are the primary one. I want. To, I don't want to go to one killing person now, but the physical one. You don't. You are not supposed to manipulate. It puts one to help you, let them help you. You don't manipulate them. When you see somebody have anointed to manipulate people, see the witchcrafts in there. And if you see somebody want to want control everybody, if thing doesn't go that way, somebody, nobody will, will laugh in this house. Witchcraft. It has to be how the one day. If you know, ah, no, no, that that is control. You don't do that. These are some of the things that is happening that you are sure a sign. If you have some of you are not reached that place of killing, but that seed, you manipulate anybody around you with words, with tears. Children can manipulate you and you give them what they want. You want to control people or you want to intimidate people? If you are the ones here, change. Or else it will grow. Another one the Bible talks about in, in Samuel 2 15, it says disobedience or rebellion. If you see somebody that's only rebelling against authority, witchcraft. It says sin of witchcraft is like what? Sin, and, and, it's, 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 rebellion is like what? It's sin of witchcraft. They rebel against authority. I'll do what I want to do, witchcraft. They cannot listen to nobody. They want to do their own thing. They rebel against authority. Rebel against what? If you see somebody that will rebel against anything they know is right, witchcraft. That's why in uh, uh, Second Samuel uh, two verse uh, verse fifteen says, "He said like that thing. He said to see the one witchcraft. When he said they rebel, they rebel. I won't do it. Won't, even though you know the right, I won't do it. This one, this one, I'm sure is the primary state of witchcraft that will grow. When you rebel against authority, you know this is wrong. I will do it. Witchcraft." If you don't deal with it, give it two years, three years. You'll be doing a lot of destruction. But God brought you here to be delivered. Say amen. amen. So that the enemies, can you put that somewhere for me there? Somewhere, I think, uh, I think 15 verse 13. Let me show you, then we're going to pray. And I'm going to break anything that I've hold you down. I say, so that when you enter the month of our November, ah, nobody will manipulate you. Say Amen. amen. Nobody will control it. Say, Amen. Amen. And no spirit will intimidate you. Because when, when people begin to manipulate you, they make you do what you don't want to do. Some of you don't. You see, you see I can read it very clearly. When I see somebody begin to manipulate me, I know that witchcraft is starting. You see, if I want to do something, let me do it from my heart. You don't manipulate me to do it for you. If I manipulate, that means it's not God. It's witchcraft. Don't manipulate me to love you. Let me love you if I want to love you. People do a lot of things in the name of witchcraft that they don't even know. Which God is against it. 
So let's break that thing. And we're breaking now. I'm going to release the blessing for the month of November upon you. Say amen. So that you begin to see the blessing of the Lord. That will make you rich. And why? Add no sorrow. So that when you say, I am blessed, that blessing will be real. You get it now? The blessing will be real. And then I'll be showing you what you need to do. There's somebody here, I'm getting, you're having a disease in your body. I think, uh, either cholesterol or blood pressure, but I'm going to deal with it. Look at what the Bible says. Everybody stand up, let's read him and then let's pray. First Samuel 15, 20, they say, For rebellion is what? At the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness what? As iniquity and adultery. Because thou hast rejected the word of the law. He has also what? Rejected thee from being the king. Rebellion. When you begin to rebel, sister, brother, I get ready, you're going to become the witch. You know it's right thing, I won't do it. I'll do it my own way. It's rebellion. It's what? Rebellion is what? At the scene of what? Wishka. You know you have to do say, I won't do it. Why is that? Can we say, if you know the right thing to do and you don't do it, what is that? It's called what? Rebellion. And how did the Bible classify it? The sin of what? You know that you're supposed to pay tithes. Say, I won't do it. You know, you're supposed to greet your sister. I will not greet her. Which calf? Most of you have it. 80% of you have it. I want to do it my own way how I want it. No, you don't. You do it the will of God. You're supposed to be under the control of God, not control of your will. You said, No, my will, why? Let your way be done. This is somebody that wants to be free. But you say, I will do it how I want it. Which crab is operating? For rebellion is as the sin of what? Witchcraft. You rebel against authority. You rebel against the government. You rebel against anything. You say, I won't do it. Ah! No, man. The Bible calls you what? It's a sin so as what? Witchcraft. It's just a stage one. Maybe in November I'm going to touch, I'm going to show you the white witch and the black witch. How they drew to become that. But if you have that kind of spirit of rebelling against what is right, I say go right. You say I'll go left. That's the way I am. Nah, you are just opening the set to our witchcraft. And witchcraft will begin to have access to you. Because it, that's what about rebellion is at the sin of our will. You rebel again. You know the right is in me. I will break all the law because I'm British. But today is your day. Say, so in the name of Jesus, every activity of witchcraft haunting my life, I break it by fire now. Begin to break it. Break it. Break it. I said, break it. I'll put on my break. Break it. Break it. Break it. Jam break it, take a bosom to cut in the rabba. Jam break it, take a bosom to cut in the rabba. Jam break it, take a bosom to cut in the rabba. Jam break it, take a bosom to cut in the rabba. Jam break it, take a bosom to cut in I am Thank 
Amen. Can everybody stand up, please, as we pray? Stand up, put your hand on your head, please. Everybody, please stand up. Please, we beg of you. We're closer right now, please. Put your hand on your head. Close to our Father, I release every spell of witchcraft over your children that they don't even know. I break the spell right now. I release them right now. Let your power free them at the end of the month of November. Let bless them. Let good things of life begin to follow them. They will never lack. They will never go down. They will increase in everything. I decrease so now in Jesus' name. I want everybody to shout, I am free from witchcraft. I want to shout a shout of joy now. All right. Tell five people, congratulations, you are free from witchcraft. And take your seat. Congratulations, you are free from witchcraft. Have your seat, Cassandra. Congratulations, you are free from Congratulations, you're free from Amen. All right, whatever you're watching me, I declare you free Amen. from witchcraft and you'll never be bound in Jesus' name. I will see you again and you're going to have a testimony. And if you're not saved, I really Jesus into your life. Say, Jesus, come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. If you pray that prayer, it's done in Jesus' name. Amen. I will see you in November. God bless. Amen. All right.